I hope I brought New Zealand to the map. They used to call me the Butter Queen, or to ask a question, and the president would say, nothing about New Zealand today, Connie. People <laughs> still associate me with New Zealand, but not a day goes by when I don't miss New Zealand, especially Radio New Zealand. I say to myself, man, that would be a great story. You know, we finally broke the barrier of the nuclear ships. That was my story for so many years. Tell you, I love New Zealand. If I were strong enough and wealthy enough, I'd love to take one more trip to New Zealand. I've had a wonderful life. I wish it could go on. Now, New Zealand has always been such a wonderful friend to America. You fought with America in all the wars, but don't get taken into anything that you don't feel good about. If you're asked to do something that you don't think is the right thing to do, no matter who the president is, you just tell them where to go. <laughs> and many of you will remember the sign-off. Connie Lawn, Radio New Zealand News, Washington. It was Connie Lawn who died yesterday, and that interview I conducted with her was 2016, just after Donald Trump um, had won the presidential election. Mm-hmm.